selling white label products is dead. Like it just doesn't work as well as it used to five or six years ago. Now, white label products are basically products that you're going to AliExpress and buy. When they come, they are white labeled. They have no brand name, no logo, no business company name. They're products that anybody can sell to anybody. Now, yes, you may be one of the very first few people to discover a product, start advertising the product and scale it to the moon, but there will, and mark my words, there will come a point where other people start catching on to the product, other people flood the market with that product, and all of a sudden, like if you know what you're doing, you can put together a dropshipping business in 24 hours and be competing with everybody else selling that very same product. So there will come a point where the market just becomes flooded with that product that you're one of the first people to discover. If you want to go through that, so you are not affected by those people flooding the market and you want to build a legitimate business that is sustainable for the long run, then you must private label the products. You must do what this business has done that I'm about to show you has done. These guys have taken a white label, quote unquote, saturated product. They've private labeled it. And what it's enabled them to do is separate themselves from the rest of the competition. So when people see these guys, they have owned the product and therefore they become a lot more trustworthy, a lot less spammy, and therefore they win the buy from the consumer. I did a video on this exact topic, saturation, a couple of weeks ago on how to separate yourself from the competition because the harsh realities are 90 plus percent of people who start a dropshipping business fail. And it's because 90% of people or the majority of people are lazy. They want to do things as quickly as possible. So they'll put together a Shopify store, they'll find a supplier on AliExpress, they'll have white label products. Not everybody wants to spend two weeks or building a store, designing a store, doing the copywriting, having ad creators made, you just see content made, speaking to suppliers, having logos designed, logos printed, designing and manufacturing packaging. Not everybody wants to commit or have that level of commitment to a business before they start testing it. So when you introduce all of those things into your business, hey, just real quick, just 20 seconds of your time before we get back to the video, I just wanna make you aware of a free training that I've recorded and is available to everybody. Body. This training will show you how to profit from Shopify dropshipping in 21 days. Now, I know that is a bold claim, but we've had hundreds of people go through this very same training and achieve that very same goal. So this training, it will show you how to find your very first winning product. It will show you how to find quality supplies that will deliver your product in less than seven days. No Chinese supplies that take two to three weeks to deliver poor quality and plastic products. I'll show you how to build a professional and high converting industry standard Shopify store at above 3%. And I'll also show you how to target people who are interested and want to buy your product. And like I said, find your very first customers in in three weeks. It's 100% free, won't cost you a single penny. All I ask is for your email address. And I ask you for that so I can also send you this. So this is also 100% free. Everybody who watches the training gets my personal hand-picked selection. It's a PDF download of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So by watching this training, not only do you get the products you need to sell, but you also get the strategy that you need to sell them. If that sounds good to you, make sure you check out the top link in the video description below. Thanks. It instantly separates you from the majority of the people who start a dropshipping business and it allows you to outperform them massively. So that being said, let's take a look at the business in question. This business is called So Who Hair if I pronounced that correctly. It's a Norwegian brand. So this is also another important part to the strategy. If you are looking for as near as damn it as a guaranteed home run for a product is find a business that is selling a product super, super successfully, six figures plus solely in the US or solely in the UK and take it to a country in which it isn't being sold, in which there isn't anybody dominating the market. And this is exactly what these guys have done. You've probably seen the products now, but let's take a quick look on AliExpress. It's an automatic hair curler. It's a product that's been done time and time again, but it's been done in the US time and time again. It's been done in Australia time and time again. It has not been done time and time again in Norway, in France, in all of these different 
European countries. So some background information, two year old Norwegian brand that made 750,000 revenue with 20% profit margin that equates into 300K of profit. No, it doesn't, it equates into 150K in profit, ready to be scaled in Q4 with 40% increased compared to last year's Q4. Here it says site age is one year, with an average, this is an average over the course of the year, of $8,000 profit per month, which is very, very good because I can tell you now that a dropshipping business, once all the correct systems are in place, will take probably three to five hours of your time per week. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then to see what it takes to build a six-figure profit per year Shopify store. So when it comes to Shopify store design, then I think this might sound harsh, but I don't think there's any excuses now for having a poorly designed store. Like there's so many different themes out there now, which are pretty much just plug and play. The only thing you've got to make sure is that you are uploading original imagery. If you are using imagery that you can find on AliExpress, then you are probably going to fail. You need to have high quality imagery that is your own imagery that no one has ever seen anywhere else before because when you want people coming onto your Shopify store you want them to feel like they've never been on your website before if you're using the very same imagery that I can use and put on my website in the space of five minutes I can build a Shopify store that looks exactly like yours and if the majority of the people can do that and the majority of people fail you're going to fail. However, what I can't do that quickly is order a sample of the product with the logo on and have a model or somebody to pose with a picture of it. The amount of people who are gonna go to those extra lengths is significantly less versus the people who will take that first route and just importing it from AliExpress. So make sure you go to those extra lengths to separate yourself from the competition because it will pay dividends in terms of the amount of return on investment. So this is their product page. This is the product. Um, notice a few different key details on the product, these two buttons here and the power button with the little screen at the end. If you're not sure what the product is, this is a really nice GIF if I can get it to load. You can see it up here in small. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. Here we go. So lots and lots of different people using the product, lots and lots of social proof. Here we go, that's better. So you can see how it works. I wanna show you this because I will show you the exact products on AliExpress in a minute so we can get an idea of what their profit margins are. They're selling the products for 600 Norwegian krone, I think it is, Norwegian krone, which equates to about 45 pounds sterling. If we jump onto AliExpress then, I believe this is the exact same product. And that is for £10.21 delivered, I believe, with free shipping. As we can see, the same two buttons there. Let's play this. Let's see if we can get a picture, better picture. It's got a slightly different end to it, actually. In fact, let's get off this one and see if we can find a better one that's more closer to the same one they're using. Okay, so I found this one, which if I'm not mistaken, is exactly the same, $12.43, which is about 10 pounds. They're selling it for 45 pounds. So it's a very healthy profit margin in there of in and around 35 pounds. They have Klarna on their site, which helps them piggyback off the reputation. Klarna being a household brand name. Everybody knows you can use it to split payments over three months, I think, interest-free. Over a thousand reviews, that's not something you see every day either. Everything points towards social proof and it being a legitimate business. The other thing as well, every single one of these photos is bannered with the Trust Pilot score. Again, you very, very, very rarely see Trust Pilot scores on dropshipping stores. And that's because most people won't go to those lengths to legitimize their business like that. But these are all the sorts of things that you must do if you truly want to be successful. You have to go above and beyond what the masses are willing to do. Down into the reviews then, so we can see that in different languages or in native languages, I should say, um, to the market they are targeting. And look, pictures of the product with the logo on. They're not white label images taken from AliExpress. They are legitimate images from legitimate customers. Now, obviously in the beginning, you're not gonna be able to always do this, but what you can do is just make sure you proofread them. Make sure they make sense. Make sure they're not one or two word answers. Most of these are a paragraph, if not longer, and it gives off that impression of them being so much more real. If people can smell fake reviews from a mile away, 
make sure you proofread the reviews that you have on your store so they have a positive impact rather than a negative. With that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up there because I feel like I've put my point across now and I don't want this video to drag on for the sake of it dragging on. Hopefully you've got the message that I've been trying to put across in this video. Go above and beyond what the masses are willing to do. If I can build a Shopify store that looks identical to yours within 24 hours, then you're doing something wrong and you're gonna just blend in with the rest of the competition. And like I mentioned earlier on in the video, unless you're one of the very first people to sell that product and discover that winning product, even if you are one of those people, yes, you might be able to make 50, 100 grand and scale it pretty high pretty quickly, but your time will come to an end. If you wanna make some serious money at this, you have to build a proper brand. You have to private label your product and that's gonna allow you to make money and sustain making money in the long run. And with that being said then guys, I hope you stay with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. More importantly, any comments, questions, video suggestions, post them down below. Cheers.